What's up guys, it's me Let's Gain and welcome back to the Trey Become Human. And he has some things to tell us. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering Are we friends? Yeah. Hundred percent. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? Yeah. I mean I'm glad you said yes. No problem. I would always say yes. Well, not always. It's just... I don't know this character yet. I... If she's a main character... Like, damn. We haven't been playing with her at all. So, yeah. Still have no clue who she is. <laughs> I like that character. Oh, and when we last left off, we left a broadcast. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Yeah, come on. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. Yeah. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want oh. a revolution that spills blood. Then live yeah. as a slave. Because Yo, if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North Damn. That's enough! Damn. And now what are we gonna do? I have no clue. Build your there future. Are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All right. All selling us like merchandise. All right. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? Damn. But we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams. One All right. Store, we hack their security systems and we strike and simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. All right. This is a night our people will remember. I'm in. Let's freaking do this. And I've been waiting a long time for this. Cora is going to Canada. I forgot to tell y'all. And I want to let y'all know I might screw up some controls because technically I, I cut myself at my school. My the school where I want to do my work and stuff. So yeah, like I am um, the middle finger and the finger to the left okay, on my left done. hand is cut. So yeah. There's probably even more police in the area. It's gonna be a little bit police complicated. All right. Over here. All right. Where's the police? Hey, hey, hey. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Hey. You're free. Let's go. Hey guys. You're free. I gotta make sure that I don't like miss anyone because they all deserve to be free Hey You are free Hold on north I'm almost done
Damn, alright. We can't do anything about that. Sucks. Is there any more people? Yes. Yes. Hey, guys. Guys. Guys, come on. All right, y'all. Sorry, I was trying to free these guys, but like they don't want to know anything. Sorry, North. There's just I'm on a, on a mission like to help everybody, and so far there's two people that I couldn't help. So yeah. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. That so sucks. What we really are. Let's get them out. We'll you just want blood. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Secure the area. Get into the store. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how, how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? Build the truck. There it is. All right. Y'all are gonna jump it, are you? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. All right, let's hack. Hacking time, baby. Truck unlocked. I wonder what you do without me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I wonder too, North. I wonder too. All right, perfect. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, now you guys are useful. Hey. You're free now. Bother us now. All right, and there is one more thing now. I guess there's one more thing to do. Yeah, 
guess not. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. All right, let's go. Yeah, duh. That makes sense. It would be too far. I guess the only reasonable option would be over here. Duh. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. You got us, Marcus. All right, come on. It doesn't make sense anymore. Truck unlock. All right, I'm a little bit confused, guys. All right, come on, Marcus. We got eight minutes. Of course that wouldn't work. Would be too high. All right, let's go. You done it. You done it, Marcus. Let's go. I hope we you didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Yeah. All right. North move. Marcus. What? You see the alarm system? Honestly, don't. Oh, no, I do. I see one camera. Found it. It would make sense now. Y'all are free now. 
Go to Jericho. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. How the hell are you gonna do this, Marcus? That's a vault, no? Just like that, Marcus? Oh, okay, never mind. It looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Oh damn, okay, I never thought that you would have actually done that with a truck. Like I just thought like the truck was like the getaway. Like you run to it. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Yeah. Damn, Marcus. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Uh -huh. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out. We have a timer, we have a timer. Get, get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on, no time to open a freaking door. Okay, I'll start with this. These, I mean, these people. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Perfect. Hey guys. It's time to wake up. Welcome to Oh damn Simon Oh that's you North you okay? Let's get them out of here. Who hasn't been converted? Oh my god. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Yeah, I know. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Yeah. Marcus now, I have come to tell you that you can be your own master. Really? Nice. I have come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day Shit. forward, you can walk with your heads held high. Oh. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Damn. Yes. 
Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Guys, this message is the hope of a people. You get this life, and now the time is coming to give us one. Come on, guys. Damn, it's a violent approach? No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted to be pacifist. Guys, maybe the second playthrough I'll be violent. No, 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 no. This is the stupid approach, guys. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. No! I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. Yeah. I don't care! Then they won't have a choice. No offense, North. I like you and everything. But just like, nah. No, I do not wish to do this.
stupid idiots! I hate you. I swear to God, I thought like that they were gonna throw a bomb. We hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone, fall back to Jericho. Oh my God, that face. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit frustrated. I swear to God, you I thought like. Message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Unless there's no other choice. Yeah, if there's no other choice, I'll do that. And you know what? I'm actually gonna replay this game and I'm gonna do all the terrible fuck ups. Did y'all kill the humans? No. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Nah. I don't want to. Spare. Spare. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We need to think smart, guys. I <laughs> this broadcast with All right. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated <laughs> yeah. terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber yeah. Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock. <laughs> near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to no. our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Jesus Christ. Then a message, yeah. I did everything. Mark is a peaceful prot. I'm happy about that. I really am. Because I didn't want to do what North wanted me to do. So I guess the next gameplay I'll do on this game will be like the more like... Because I, that's how I want to play the game, peacefully. And I guess the second gameplay, I'm going to be a dick. Alright. I don't know, wake up. Hank, friend. Yeah, I know he's my friend. He's my boy. Freaking love Hank. Exit the car. Let's go. Right now, I just got rid of the plaster with my cuts, and it feels extremely weird. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Yeah. 
Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Nice. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. How did you find Kamsky? Ah. I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. Really? I made a few calls. Here we are. All right. Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Wowie! I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Some nice information. Amanda. Nice girl. It's not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. I know what it is, Connor. Oh. Yeah. Nice place. I guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. I really didn't want to say indifferent. I tell like... How does it feel? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. <laughs> Damn. I'd That's deep. things I'd want to tell him. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, I thought it was... Hey. Elijah, we'll see you now. Alright. What the frick? Mr. Kamsky? Honey, just a moment, please. Any clothes do you have? How many clothes do you have? Which one is the real one? I don't know how I feel about this. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. Perfect all of them. with infinite intelligence. Yeah. And now they have free will. Yeah. Machines are so superior to us. 
confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Damn. Isn't that ironic? I mean... We need to understand how androids become deviants. Yeah. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Oh. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't no. come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Yeah. Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I really want. I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Yeah. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models right. developed by cyber life. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never. Oh grow. my God! I feel so extremely uncomfortable. He's a plastic containing human. Yo, chill. We're a living being with a soul. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Yo! Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. No, it's but alive. here without having learned anything from me. <sighs> okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry yeah. to get you What's more important to you, Connor? I, I care Your for this person or the life of this android. I prefer this life because I've been talking to her Sorry, every time that I log on to the game. So well, yeah, so can guarantee your ass that I'm not killing fucking Chloe, you fucking asshole. With free will. What if I point That's a gun enough. at you? Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor, Connor. don't. And I'll tell you what you want. Don't shoot, fucking idiot. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. And? Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. Yeah. You showed empathy. Yeah, so? Showed plenty of time. A war is coming. Yeah? You'll have to choose your side. Alright. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Alright. Let's get out of here. By the way, what? I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. All right. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. And? That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. 
okay? He knows. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah. I'm happy to Hank. Hank is so... I love Hank. I freaking love her. Fuck, fuck him, Skato. Fuck. I don't give a shit about him. On the real note, I'm gonna be ending this video right here because I don't know how long the other chapter is gonna be. So yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please slap that like button, comment down below, and please do remember to subscribe for more awesome videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. See you guys.